So in this video, the first thing that we need to do is show that 1 over r, take away 2 over r plus 1 plus 1 over r plus 2, is equivalent to 2 over r, r plus 1, r plus 2. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with that left-hand side. So on the left-hand side, we've got 1 over r, take away 2 over r plus 1, plus 1 over r plus 2. OK? So what you want to do then is, because we want to combine the three fractions into one, we've got to get a common denominator. So currently, the first term has the denominator of r. So we need to multiply it top and bottom by r plus 1, r plus 2. So we're going to get r plus 1, r plus 2 over r, r plus 1, r plus 2. So that's the first term. Now the second term has r plus 1 already in the denominator, but it doesn't have r and it doesn't have the r plus 2. So we've got to multiply that one top and bottom by r, r plus 2. So two lots of r, r plus 2 over r, r plus 1, r plus 2. The final term has r plus 2 in the denominator, but not the r or the r plus 1. So we're going to have to multiply that one top and bottom by r, r plus 1. Now all three of those fractions now have the same denominator, so we can combine them. But we also want to expand those brackets out. Okay, so the first term we've got the r plus 1, r plus 2. So r squared plus 3r plus 2. Then take away this term here. So we're going to have 2r squared. Take away uh, 2r times 2. So take away 4r. And then we've got plus r squared plus r. And that's all going to be over r, r plus 1, r plus 2. So what are we being left with? Well, we've got the r squared plus r squared, so 2r squared, but we're taking away 2r squared as well. So the r squareds are gone. We've got 3r take away 4r, okay, plus r. So the r's go as well. And we've got the 2 left over. So 2 over r, r plus 1, r plus 2, as required, which is your right-hand side. OK? So that's what we wanted to do. OK. So now that we've done that, we know that the sum from r is 1 to n of 2 over r, r plus 1, r plus 2, is the same as looking at the sum from r is 1 to n of 1 over r take away 2 over r plus 1 plus 1 over r plus 2. So let's start substituting in r is 1 up to n, OK? So substituting in 1 first, we're going to get 1 over 1, take away 2 over 2, plus 1 over 3. So that will be my first term. Right, let's substitute in the next term, so r is 2. We would get 1 over 2, take away 2 over 3, plus 1 over 4. OK? Now, it's not immediately obvious at this point where the cancellations are coming. OK, so let's substitute in n is, uh, sorry, uh, r is 3. So we've got 1 over 3, take away 2 over 4, plus 1 over 5. Now, if you get to that point, you go, well, I'm still not quite see sure where the cancellations are coming from. Let's try another term. So let's substitute in r is 4. So 1 over 4, take away 2 over 5, plus 1 over 6. So you'll see that what's happening is that the denominators are going 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4, 3, 4, 5, 4, 5, 6, OK? So if you look at the denominators, OK, uh, if we look at the thirds first, we've got one third, take away two thirds, plus a third. They would cancel. And we've got one quarter, take away two quarters, plus a quarter. They would cancel. So they're actually cancelling in, in triplets. And it appears to be the right-hand term, 
the middle term and the left-hand term of three consecutive terms that appear to be cancelling out. So right, middle, left. Right, middle, left. OK. And so, in doing that, right, middle, left. Right, middle, left. OK. Then right, middle, left. Right, middle, left. OK. Whereas these terms that I've got there will remain. OK. So then, let's keep going then. Let's see what the remaining terms are. So if we substitute in n minus 2, we would have 1 over n minus 2 take away 2 over n minus 1 plus 1 over n. Substitute in n minus 1, we get 1 over n minus 1 take away 2 over n plus 1 over n plus 1. Then substitute in n, we get 1 over n, take away 2 over n plus 1, plus 1 over n plus 2. So remember, right, middle, left, right? Right, middle, left, they would cancel. 1 over n, take away 2 over n, plus 1 over n. OK? Now, right, middle, left, there's no cancellation for that one. Right, middle, left, there's no cancellation for that one. So we can't deal with those, right? But this left, middle, and then the right one, they would have cancelled. And this one would have been paired up as well. So what are we left with? We've got the 1 over 1. OK, so at this point, yes, I'm, I can start simplifying things. I've got 1, take away 1, plus a half. Then, so everything else gets cancelled except for 1 over n plus 1. Take away 2 over n plus 1, plus 1 over n plus 2. So I've got 1 take away 1, gone. I've got the half, which is what I wanted to get to. So I know that bit's OK. And I'm left here with these three terms. Now, because these have got the same denominator, I can just um, do 1 over n plus 1, take away 2 over n plus 1, is take away 1 over n plus 1. Now I want to combine those two fractions to get it into that form. So let's rewrite them around this way. OK. So that then I can do cross multiplication. So we've got the 1 half plus multiply n plus 1, take away n plus 2, divided by n plus 1, n plus 2. So we've got the 1 half plus, well, we've got n, take away n, 1, take away 2, so minus 1, over n plus 1, n plus 2, as required. So this one was more fiddly because you had the three terms and you, they uh, cancelled out uh, in triplets, okay? And that caused a little bit more of a problem for us.